At least three Iranians were inside at the time of the first apparently accidental explosion, which shook the neighborhood. I didn't see anything when it first happened, but I just heard a huge explosion, and I was so scared I cried. Shards of glass were all over the floor. The house remains cordoned off, but most of the police are now gone. After the first blast, the men fled. Police say one of them threw or dropped two more devices further down the street. There was a second explosion, but it caused little damage in what appears to have been a bungled escape attempt. In the last explosion, the man lost both legs, one immediately, the other amputated in hospital, where he's now under police custody. This is him, Saeed Muradi, seen in pictures taken by a security camera near the house. His accomplice, Mohammad Hazai, was later arrested trying to leave for Malaysia. This was part of an Iranian plot targeting Israel. The country's ambassador to Thailand said there appeared to be a close link between the blasts in Bangkok and similar attacks in India and Georgia the day before. Wayne Hay, Al Jazeera, Bangkok.